Good morning. I actually slept pretty well last night. I think I was so tired. Oh my god. Let's go ride bikes. I really love the simplicity of bike touring. You just can't have much at all. Everything has to fit into a couple bags, you know? So you roll up your little house, that means your tent. Get a couple shirts together, a couple pairs of shorts, and that's your life. And I like being able to, to live in such a simple way. You know, some people live in tiny houses or tiny apartments and you can't have much stuff. This is the next level. Bike touring is next level simplicity. I have definitely drinking more water in the past three, four days than I have in a long time. Hydrator diet, people. You know what I'm gonna eat for breakfast? Pizza. I went to Pizza Hut last night because I was starving. I sat in their air conditioning. It was so nice. And now, I have breakfast. Veggie lovers. You might be wondering where I camped last night. Well, I'm in a place called Streeter Park. And a lot of times in small towns all through the Midwest, the city parks, you're allowed to camp there. And not only allowed, but they give you electricity and water and you've built in friends because look at all these people camping. All right, let's do this. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. The sun is blazing already. They say it might even be a little bit hotter today, which I don't know if that's possible. If it gets any hotter, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna cook on this bicycle. I'm gonna turn it into a hot tamale. 75 miles today to Lincoln, Nebraska. Home of the Corn Huskers. And when I was a kid, I didn't like the Corn Huskers because they would always beat my Colorado Buffaloes. But now we both suck, so who cares? You know what I'm saying? And he may take it all the way. Flanagan's in for the touchdown. Good morning, cows. How you doing? Just saw a sign back there that said Pawnee Lake. Today is a day for lakes. Oh my God, it is so hot. I just hope the water's actually cold. I can't imagine anything on the planet being cold right now, but hopefully it's cold. I can't even turn my gears, my hands are all slippery. Ugh. There is not one cloud in the sky blocking the sun. <laughs> Nothing. It's been a good day though. Just had my head down and I've just been pedaling. Going, 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 going. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. This lake was perfectly placed right where I needed it. Oh, oh the temperature is perfecto. It's perfecto. So I'm not the only one at this lake. My buddy Jeff called me, this weirdo. He follows me everywhere. He's like, I'm close, I'm going to Ragbri, where are you? And he came and drove up, and he's not just any Jeff, he's the creator of the 11 Pine Shorts. Jeff, why don't you show the people what 11 Pine's all about? Well, Deezer, you can't hide from me. I find you. Okay. <laughs> you wanna get on your bike, do a little zip down, tighten them down, your form fit. Now you're gonna be all aero. Yeah. You got your spandex mode. Nice and tight. Next, you want to get off the bike. What? You want to relax. You got great pockets. I love these shorts. I've been wearing 11 Pines for what, two years now? Yeah. Pretty small company, Boulder, everywhere. Boulder guy. I love supporting him. If you want to check out his shorts, I'll put a link down below. I'm raiding Jeff's food and drink supply. What you got, boy? We got food, we got fruit. Oh, you have healthy food. I think four days of huge miles and intense heat has taken a toll on me. I kind of feel tired. You know when Forrest Gump got to the end of the country, he's like, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I'm not going to stop, but that's how I feel. I'm just like, ah, I'll see you in Lincoln. I have made it to Lincoln. It's a much bigger city than I thought. 
The sign said over 200,000 when I came in. I thought it was a little college town. Anyway, I'm searching for the house of Ryan and Dylan. They are two YouTube fans who said, hey man, we got a couch. And I said, I would like a couch. I would like a couch very much. How's it going? Are you are you Dylan? Here. Yes, What's am. up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you, bud. Welcome Hi, there. doggy. Hi, buddy. This is Dexter. Hey, how's it going? Are you Ryan? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you guys. This is All awesome. Right. So I know I've been complaining about the heat and the wind, but it's been real. More than half of the country will feel the effects of a heat wave over the next 24 hours. Together we're looking at uh, feels like temperatures not only today being really high in Omaha at 107. By the time we get to Saturday, 250 million people uh, will actually be seeing high temperatures above 90 degrees. Because we saw this tweet from the National Weather Service trying to bake biscuits using only the sun and a car in a parking lot. <laughs> like, I've been to some hot places on this planet, but for some reason this heat out here in Nebraska just feels a lot more oppressive. Today I just put my head down and pedaled and pedaled and pedaled and pedaled. I didn't film a whole lot, I was just moving. It's been five days of just brutal riding and huge mileage. So I'm tired, my body's like, yeah, take a break, bud, because tomorrow's gonna be another 70-ish miles. It's not an easy ride to the start of Ragbri, and then I have seven more days of riding. I still am very happy that I did this. I'm really grateful that it all worked out, and I've been having the time of my life. I really needed to get out. I needed it. And I needed it. I needed an adventure, you know. And it uh, it reminds me, like, oh yeah, you can do this, Ryan. You know, I was in a little bit of a funk for a while after the breakup, and a little wounded, a little sad. And uh, this has been good for my soul in a lot of ways. So I'm gonna sit here and charge some batteries, batteries for my drone, and batteries for everything else. Charge my uh, body batteries and. Uh, we're gonna call it a day. Happy Friday. Good morning, Dexter. How you doing, bud? There you are. That's my man. So, I got to sleep with Dexter last night. He's a big old cuddly, cuddly guy. Thank you, Ryan and Dylan. You guys are the best. I have new friends in Lincoln. Yes. Yeah, and you're gonna come do Rag right? Yep, we'll yes. be there. I like it, I like it. Well, your house is awesome. Your town is hot as hell. <laughs> and I appreciate yeah, the hospitality. Yeah. Today is Saturday, and I am heading finally to Council Bluffs, where the start of Ragbri is happening. I have about 70-ish miles before I get there. It's gonna be hot again. Ooh, I'm ready for some cooler weather. This heat is just burning me up. No crashies, no whammies, no flatties. Right behind me is the state capitol. My host, Ryan and Dylan, said they call it the penis of the plains. Can you see why? Buddy. Nice to meet you in real life. Yeah, Phil. How's it going? Good, good. This friendly face right here is Phil. What's up, buddy? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, man. So good to see ya. He contacted me on Instagram. He's like, I live here. I'll ride out a little bit. And here we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not every day that your uh, YouTube <laughs> hero comes by oh. and swings through town, especially here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. As Ryan knows, it's a bunch of cornfields and us. That's true, that's true. <laughs> so what are we gonna see today? We're gonna see a little bit of the town. This is kind of the older part of town. We're gonna go through this trail. This trail used to be an old rail trail. Lincoln has done a great job of repurposing those trails into paved roads. If it's not paved, it is still that limestone that, uh, that's great for riding still, so. That's awesome, yeah. man. <laughs> Bill just said there's a tunnel coming up! Ole, 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 ole. Wow, that had great acoustics! <laughs> Bill, 
Joel, my man, Woo. dropped me off at Casey's, my favorite gas station. <laughs> Time to get a donut. I really appreciate you yeah. riding with me out of town. Of course, of course. I, I love I love biking, and I'm so glad you came through town. This Dude. It's so good. Show you a little bit of what Lincoln, Nebraska has and our surrounding area here. I'm really enjoying the shade this trail is providing. I have been under the beaten sun for the past five days straight. And this is a nice change of pace, a nice refuge. I feel like I'm finally very close to Ragbri. When I left my house on Monday, I was 600 miles away. Then the next day, 500 miles away. It always seemed so far away and now I'm 50 miles away and the excitement's coming back. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to Ragbri. I love Ragbri. There's a reason why I just sweat through the plains of Nebraska and suffered. I love the event so much. I always tell people it brings out the best of what I've seen in the United States. Small town communities coming together, cyclists from all over the country and the world, riding bikes, having a good time, families, young people, older people, everybody in between. And it's just a really special time to celebrate life as we all pedal across Iowa. Red Bride, here I come! Woo this is a 1981 Schwinn Sports Tour. Note down here at the bottom, Extra light. Yeah, it is. It's the extra light model. <laughs> In 1981. So I'm got. A, I'm at a gas station here. I'm drinking my my Gatorade, and then this dude rolls up, and I'm like, oh, we got another bike touring guy right here. He's got some stories to tell. What's your name again? My name is David. I'm in recovery. You see, I've got six and a half years sober. And the thing about it is, I come to realize that this bike ride is totally like recovery. I mean, everybody wants these pictures of all this fun time Charlie that I'm out here on the road with, but the cold hard facts of the matter is, it's a painful ride. But at every 10 times a day, 20 times a day, we get this little success story, and that's called the next town. <laughs> Especially in Nebraska, because there's like a 20 mile an hour headwind the whole way. Today, I think we're gonna be dealing with 150 20 degree heat index with this wind in our face what kind of crazy are we <laughs> but no and so yeah this is a celebration of life today i've been i've been fortunate to be doing ministry all the way across you know i've i'm literally hugging my way across america <laughs> that's what's going on and <laughs> what do you love most about riding the bike man I, i'm just telling you it's the 10 hour a day meditation it's the meditation it's the self-reflection and also your leg muscles get bigger i'm 57 and and you know uh metabolism slowed down you know it's important to me that uh, people think I'm certifiably crazy, and I tell them, no, I got to do this so that I can still do it. The day I quit doing this, I won't be able to do it anymore, and I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. So this is actually an elixir of life, you know, and I literally see, I'm literally cashing in pedals. When I'm riding down the, up these monster hills of Nebraska, I'm cashing in pedals for work for where I'm going to be down the road. I mean, in, in 10 years, this is going to pay off. You never grow through smooth sailing. I mean, if we were riding, if me and Brian were riding, everything was downhill with the wind to our back, what, what have we done, you know? And so our glory comes, and, we, and we're, not, we're not glorifying ourselves, but we're just, we're just loving this fact of getting to the next town. We just had another victory. You know, and that's the neat part about these cross-country rides is that you're really literally mandating victory in your life. My healing started when I started riding. So, so cool. what do you say, buddy? You like it? I like it, dude. Yeah. That was great. Here we go. All right, me and Brian. There we are. My Bye, man buddy. right here, David. It was so good to meet you, my friend. Oh, man, I can't believe I saw you. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so Who good. Who else is in this heat? Who today? is in this heat? Who is in this teeny little Brian, town? Well, I, I wish you all the best, my uh, friend. Absolutely. Too, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Continue, continue doing all your good stuff and, oh, yeah. and and hugging and spreading joy. Oh man, I'm the king of the hug. I'm, let's I'm the do, don. Let's do it. Oh my man. Oh, oh. you need. 
scientifically you need eight hugs a day just for maintenance. Don't if you don't believe me, you can Google it, and Google tells the truth. <laughs> Here is another gas station trick. They have ice out back usually, and you can just come in here, and it is so cold. It feels amazing. Bye, David. You're the man. That guy David's a character. Really good heart. I enjoyed hanging out with him. Some of my best conversations are had at gas stations. They really are. I can't believe it. Here's the Missouri River. Made it to Iowa. Yeah! You ready for this? I am.